How have you guys kind of rebounded from that uh, tough loss a couple of days ago? Yeah, we're just coming together as a team, unifying, um, going back to the basics this week, uh, working on communication, um, running to the ball, um, just obnoxious communication. You know, it's a loud stadium, so try to f focus on the little things and get back to what we are as fundamentally as a team. What about the sequence do you think kind of allows you guys to bounce back quickly? Like, it seems like you're all pretty bought in at this point. Yes. Um, we just our love for each other and just, you know, we got a brother to our right and the left of us, and you know we're going to go hard. Um, down the stretch, different things happen that we can't control. So, you know, trying to work on the controllables and just ultimately get more film, get more turnovers, and just win. Uh, yesterday, uh, Femi mentioned, you know, a couple times that the defense felt a little disunified at times. Did you notice any of that with the safety group? Uh, especially, you know, you guys lost uh, Kamari early in that game. Yes. Uh, we all we all go to bat for each other. Um, me personally, I was in the game a lot and locked in in the game, so I didn't really see anything on the sidelines. But all in all, we just got to encourage each other, um, keep our heads up, um, just cheer on. Um, I think we did good. Um, just being encouraged and just we have to keep pushing forward. Is that something you made more of an emphasis of this year to try and take on a leadership role and be able to motivate some of the younger guys when they're down on something? Yes, sir. Um, coming into this year, we had a lot of different guys in different positions, new starters. So yeah. last year, we were a lot of returning starters, so we knew who our leaders were coming in. So this year, even if you're not a starter, even if your role is lesser, you know, you can still be a leader in your group. And that's something we emphasize, just speaking up and just keeping the standard the standard. Did you get to see the Ray Lewis video? Yes, sir. What was your takeaway? What was kind of the, the message of watching that was intended for you guys, do you think? Um, really just to focus on our unit, like as a defensive unit. Um, we can't control the fans. We can't control the game. Just making sure we execute and get stops. Um, and just be a, you know, a hard-hitting unit, um, communicating and just really being alphas on the field. That's something that was emphasized. Like, we are that unit to win games. What was the, the context of the room? It was like, did you just walk into the meeting and they put it on or like... Gentleman said something and then well, gone. Yeah, he was previously with the Ravens, so um, you know, Ray Lewis came up to speak to them a couple of times, so he felt inspired to show the video. It was probably like five minutes into the meeting we played the video just just as a teaching point to go off of. What have you seen from Arizona State's offense? Mm -hmm. Um, they're a good competitive team. Uh, run the ball a lot, well balanced. Um, a couple of games ago, um, they went wire to wire with the first team in the league, so they're a good offense. Um, we're gonna have to stop the run, of course, the pass. It is physical, definitely a physical, hard hitting game. We're expecting. Any different preparation for a different quarterback, especially when you don't know what quarterbacks gonna play? Yeah, just really looking at the scheme overall, and we know all of them are good quarterbacks, mobile. Um, so you know we have to cover down. We have people in the right pass rush lanes, just basic stuff. Was Kamari back with you guys? I know, you know obviously he left the game early, but uh, in these last two practices. Yeah, he's wor he's working it through in individual drills and everything. Uh, happy to have him back soon. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate Thanks. it. Yeah, good one. How are we doing? Good. How are you, how are you doing? Doing well, doing well. How have you guys kind of uh, bounced back and practice from obviously a tough, tough defeat? I mean, it's a new week, fresh beginning. Every week is a new challenge, so that's behind us. We live, we learn, and now we move on. What did you learn? <sighs> that we need to come together as a group in a full team effort in order to win football games. It's not one side or the other. We can't be divisive. It takes a whole unit to win, basically. How's that process kind of unfolded the last few days? Have you guys been talking about that? We've been talking about it, but it's not really talking about it. It's being about it. It's about bringing energy to practice every single day. It's about putting full work every single day and not taking any days off. Um, yeah, I heard you guys talking to Nimmo that there's like stuff going on on the sideline. Like, like that stuff can't happen. You gotta be a whole unit in order to win. And it proves it Monday through Saturday, or Monday through Friday in practice is how we're gonna come together and win this game on Saturday. What was some of that stuff going on on the sideline? And were you like observing that at all during the game? You, the I was not observing it at all. Um, it was just, at the end of the day, football is a very physical sport where emotions run high. Like, that's just it. At the end of the day, there's a bunch of 
alpha males on one team, like there's going to be button heads no matter where you are and whatever team you're on. It's about just coming up to a resolution with those problems and moving on from them. Who are some of the leaders on defense who, in a situation like that, try to bring, get unification again, try to bring you all back together? So you're saying just leaders on the defense that yeah. brings everything back together? I would say Musau is definitely one of our vocal leaders, Femi. He's one of them that will bring people together and tell someone to shut up if you need to. Um, Latu, I mean, basically everyone holds each other accountable, but those main guys I mentioned before, the linebackers, D-line too, I mean, everyone just wants to win at the end of the day and will hold each other accountable no matter who it is. Femi was talking about, like, positive self-talk yesterday. So is mm -hmm. he, like, a pretty positive guy? Like, what does he say? I would say he's the most young. positive guy on the team, at least. I mean, he's always preaching. I mean, he's always wanting to have conversations, deep conversations, get into that type of stuff. But uh, positive minds attract, I think it was, positive minds attract positivity, negative minds attract negativity. So my strength coach said that to us actually right after the game and just be positive throughout thick and thin. And Femi's just been relaying that matches throughout the week. Strength coach like Kibbe? Coach New. Oh. Yeah, D-line strength coach. Oh. What was your uh, journey like here? I mean, transferring over from Penn and, you know, when you were thinking of transferring and all that, uh, what was it about UCLA that stood out? <sighs> what stood out? I was blessed with the opportunity that everything kind of came together after my season because Penn ended right before Thanksgiving. Ten games and you're done. And I was actually already going to vacation out here with my family and Chip called me up. So I was like, oh, I mean, that's perfect. Might as well just come up, see it for a day, saw a practice. And I just honestly fell in love with the location, the style of just how everything's run here. I've never seen a practice so crisp and clean before. Um, the nutrition was massive. I mean, I've had to feed myself every meal for the past four years. So them saying they can feed me, that was a huge <laughs> plus. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have better competition and play at the highest level I can. Ryan, uh, did Ryan Cragen play any part? I know he also came. He did. He, uh, he came a year before because um, in the Ivy League, you can't play as a graduate. So he was already done with his classes, so he couldn't come back. But yeah, having him here as a guy to talk to and like what's actually goes on on the inside, because everyone recruits, you don't know really what it is on the outside, right? But when you have someone on the inside, it is helpful to make that decision. So you talked about the, the food, or are you want we talked about we talked to some of the old linemen earlier in the season where some were trying to lose weight, some were trying to gain weight. Where are you at with the the food plan? The meal? I would That's say the at the right when I got here because after last season I lost a little bit of weight, obviously because season does that too. But getting my weight back up to like two fifty five, a little bit above that. So I'm just trying to stay paced right now. A lot Not of perfect. A lot of steak, chicken breast, stuff like that. Or? Chicken and rice. Chicken. There's a lot, a lot of, rice, of chicken and rice. A lot of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> How many Heimlicker maneuver jokes have you heard through the years? I've, I haven't, through the years, not as many until I got here and I was at Oregon <laughs> State and I heard him chirping from behind, which made me laugh. But, I mean, it's kind of funny. But, yeah, a lot, good amount. Is it Heimlicker or Heimlicher? Heimlicher. There we go. Heimlicher, yes, sir. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate sir. you guys. Thank you. Thank you.